So I've got a question, what bike am I taking this year to my festival? Doing a this vegan cycling festival, I'm going to take my bamboo touring bike and... Whoa, what was that? <laughs> it's a big rat under that cover. Um, I'm going to take my bamboo uh, touring bike and I'm going to be taking that. And another question is about vaccines, immunizations. What's my opinion and thoughts on that? My opinion is I don't do them. I've never done them. I haven't been vaccinated or immunized since maybe when I was eight. So like 32 years ago. Oh, maybe I was 11. Maybe I was, actually, no, it wasn't. I, know, I was, oh, sorry, I lie. I was 13. I was in year eight, nearly high school. So 27 years, 27 years, about that. Anyway, a long time ago. I've traveled the world every year since 2001, 2003, I should say. 2000, uh, 2002, I skipped. So I've been traveling a lot uh, for the last do the mass 16 years around the world on bicycle, getting bitten by dogs, bitten by mosquitoes, drinking water, sleeping on benches, sleeping in forests, getting lost, cutting myself, you know, all sorts. I I don't believe in the vaccines. I don't believe in immunizations. That's my opinion. You have to form your own opinion based on your own information, your own research. Don't believe anything you read on the internet. Don't believe anything you watch on the internet. Don't believe everything you watch from the doctor or TV or whatever. Do your own homework, make your own conclusions, forge new beliefs, based on your own conclusions, not your mum's conclusions, your dad's conclusions, your workmate's conclusions, doing rights conclusions, do your own homework, do your own experiments. And if you can't do an experiment, look at other people's data. Um, and always follow the money. What is that industry selling you? That is selling you fear. You now I believe in pharmaceuticals. I believe in modern medicine, but not for every single ailment. I believe in, with dogs, uh, is, Talking with dogs. I don't get bitten by dogs anymore because I know how to communicate with dogs. And I also don't uh, go out partying. I don't do drugs and late nights, and except for epic rides. I don't get dehydrated. I don't drink alcohol. I mean, I don't use these stimulants consistently. I, and people just smashing coffee to coffee to coffee or pill to pill to pill. And the immune system just gets gets run down. You know, so those people can definitely get malaria or dengue, etc. So in four years of running my festival, 2014, 15, 16, or three years, I should say, this year's number four, I've had maybe 1,500, 1,500 people? Mm, no, there's a lot of repeats. So maybe, hmm, let's say 1,000 or 1,100 people come to my event, and nobody has ever had any severe health issues, except for a couple of people who were you know, not eating enough, maybe smoking a bit of bongs, and had a week of me and not drinking enough water, and a couple of them got really bad infections, you know, uh, septicemia, etc. So that wasn't, but they weren't following my advice. They were nice people, they came to my event, but they weren't following my advice and they did get sick. So I can't take responsibility for that one. Um, other than bicycle crashes as well, people have had, but no one's ever gotten rabies or malaria or dengue. Come to my event, if you follow my advice, then you're going to get my results because my results are based on my personal experience. And uh, people disagree with me with that, and that's fine. And what you'll find is people disagree with that. They're never healthier, they're never fitter than me. <laughs> but they're like, everyone's got an opinion. They're like assholes. Everyone's got one. That's fine. That's normal. But what bike am I bringing is the bamboo bike and disc, hydro disc, mountain bike cranks, 40 cassette up the back, little power meter, keep the pacing. I'll be running pannier bags plus bike packing bags. And uh, so, yeah, I might do a couple of time trials and that, blah, blah, blah. But this year, the festival's not focused on time trials. It's not really focused on speed. If you want to do a time trial, go ahead and do it. But we won't be glorifying it like we have in previous years because we know how fast we are. We know. We know the vegans have dominated in Chiang Mai. We know how fast we are. This year, it's all about adventure, going to new places, doing new back roads, doing the roads that no one else has done on the Strava. This year's all about forming new Strava of segments, not on segments that have already been done, but like new roads that no one's ever put on Strava. All right, so let's 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 do that. So make sure your bike is up to this up to spec. And if it's not, then you can. There's plenty of good bike shops in Chiang Mai where we can slap on mountain bike cranks and forty cassettes, etc. And any, any bike shop out there in England or Australia or the US or whatever, oh, you don't need a forty cassette on a road bike. Oh, oh, oh. And you tell them to come to Duran Island Cycling Festival. And I want to record their faces when I show them some of the ramps, the hills that we do. They'll be like, that's illegal back in my house. No, no, no. Now, hang on. You just said that no one needs a 40% of road bike. We'll show them these climbs. Fucking 
epic climbs. I've seen some of these climbs are so steep. I've seen motorbikes like rear end and, and drop off their pillion passenger, literally. Um, one of the climbs, was, I had a 34.20 out in there going 350 watts in good form, really skinny, really lean, really fast back in 2014. I was racing another friend up there. He, he, he only had standing crank. He couldn't go up. He had to stop. And he had road shoes, so he, had, he, he couldn't unclease. He's got a crash. So he, he did a U-turn went back down. I had mountain bike shoes on, so I was all right. So I've been in the 34, 28, 6 kilos, 6.8 kilos of velo, just super light, super lean, fully carved up, 350 watts. And my caves were maybe 30. I thought I am going to snap my chain and go over the bars. So I got off my bike, did cyclocross, ran on my, not ran, it was so steep, walking up the climb to the top. You know what I mean? That's how, that's how steep we're talking. So steep, doing 350 watts, had to get off and walk in a 34, 28 on a 6.8 kilo bike. Next level shit. Next level shit. And on the way down, it's when I saw the motorbike just just have too much weight on the back and the lady just fell off. No one got hurt. They had a laugh. And everyone has had to push the motorbike up the hill. But that's what we're talking. We're talking hills you've never, ever, ever seen in your life. Like the steepest hills on earth. I don't know anything steeper. Not even Penang Hill is steeper. That's fucking steep. But I got Penang Hill in a 34.25, so I wasn't even that fit back then. Thailand's got the hardest climbs in the world, and you're going to be doing them if you want.